Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Um, I have an Artist Loft 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. It is taped. Oh, but it is not pinned. I am using the Molly stands. I got mine um, in the mail a little while ago and this is the first time I'm trying them out. And I think that it's gonna work out just fine. Yeah, yeah. So anyhow, I am practicing to do a three foot by three foot. And I did some tiles this afternoon. And this was the winner. And it is um, a flip cup with several different colors. Um, the first ones I did today, I ended up adding some water to my Flow Acrylic and my Satin Mix, and they went south. They, it was not good. One of the things I realized too is if you want to paint these paintings, if you want to do a repour, you got to do a repour on something that is um, a cloud pour before because if you're pouring onto a, a, a pour that you've done with acrylic paints that is a little thicker, you're, it's, like, it's like pouring on plastic, you know, so it doesn't really work. So I'm going to do one, two, three cups because this is gonna, um, the size or the, I'm gonna be doing a square and these are my colors. This is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet and it's mixed with a little bit of um, Modern Masters in Amethyst. This is Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet and I put just a tad, just a very small touch of um, Modern Masters Ruby. This is Modern Masters. Uh, it wasn't rich gold. This was Olympic gold. And I put a little bit of quinacridone nicolazo gold in it. This is a mishmash of a bunch of colors. <laughs> My blues are always like that. I don't know. I just, but I don't know if you guys can see that's the, the consistency. Can you see that? There we go. falls right in and we have a little bit of the white mix the satin enamels and I'm going to put that in between some of the layers so I'm going to layer up my cups I'm going to take my sticks out right now I did test these colors out and I did test I swear to god I think a lot of the the, the, the recipe that I have listed is the exact recipe you need to do the cloud for the cloud mix. That's what works for me. It might, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's a lot better because when I tried to thin it out because I thought it was too thick, it wasn't too thick at all. It was just right. And that's it. It does fall right in, but it feels heavy when you're, it feels like it's thick. But when I thin, thinned it out, it, it made just a holy mess. So how are we going to layer these colors? I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna layer them all the same. Whoopsie. That's the turquoise. Okay. And we're gonna put a little bit of white in there. bit of gold. Yeah, it's really hard to uh, keep it on top. You can try. It's really, I mean, you'd have to pour it like this. Sometimes those colors are better mixed together, but I do really like the gold next to the permanent violet red. So hopefully that can stay together. It's a gradient of color. And I'm gonna actually put some more gold in there right now. There we go. Seems to be layering a little bit better now that we're a little closer to the top. Oh, shoot. And a little bit more. The turquoise. Oh, I wish I had more turquoise now. Darn it. 
want to put the purple next to the turquoise. I haven't done a flip cup with this yet. Well, I did this afternoon on one tile, but I haven't done it on a, an actual painting. Oops, let's just pop some down there. And a little more of the red, just for giggles. These are five ounce cups. I have an 18 ounce cup sitting next to me here and I haven't filled it all the way so it's like about mm, 15 ounces this canvas will take 16 ounces I'm gonna put these over to the side right now I'm gonna lay down my base coat everywhere see them when you're tilting. There we go. Now we're going to do some flips. Jesus. Thank you, friend. No, you can't join the party. Oh, he's... Bugs like paint. So now we're going to do the flip cup. I've got to do this pretty quick. I'm going to put this one in the center. It's one, two. Oh, geez, that was feeble. Three. Yeah, that was not good. But look at those colors, eh? Oh, that's my Canadian coming out. All right, once I, once I get this, take these off, I have to move quick because the cells will start going wonky, which these will probably get moved off. Why don't I put a set of gloves on? How about that? Let's try that. This is probably way too much color on here. All right, since that one's got a lot on it, that'll be the last to go. Wow. All right, here we go. We're gonna move it, move it. I really wanted more of the red. Darn it. Well, let's just see what happens with this. It looks kind of cool. I really, this is what I wanted, right? What's happening there. So hopefully I'll get to keep that because the cells generally try to uh, 
take over the sides. So I will put you on, maybe I, can, maybe I can manage to get some out of here. I really love this technique. I mean, it's, I know Melly D and Elise have done it for years, but it's just, it's so cool how it just transforms right before your eyes. I wonder if I have enough paint off. I'm gonna leave it because um, if I start messing with it, that's kind of muddy over there. I don't like that. So how's everybody doing? Hope everyone's doing well. That's the other thing I wanted to tell you guys too. You can make your own cells just by dropping a little bit of, um, they look a little bit contrived. So take, keep that in, in consideration. I'm gonna tilt it to somewhere. Sorry guys. like there's too much paint on here anyways see what happens to the cells once you've uh, once you try to um, tilt it after you end up with little kidney beans I'm gonna try and straighten them out All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and then I'll come back and see what we've got. See you in a few. Hey guys, I'm back. Here she is. I put a starfish in it. I love starfish. They're so cool. So, I have some iridescent pearl by Golden um, High Flow that I put in the center here. Wanted to create some dendrites and it worked, but it didn't. <laughs> I think it worked at first and then I probably put too much in after. But, um, Got some nice juicy cells and some nice color in between them. Um, and there's gold. So, scrape the first one, obviously. Um, I was almost ready to scrape this one because it wasn't what I had thought I wanted, but then it just morphed into something really beautiful. Look at those tiny little cells on the corner. Aren't they cute? So, there's a lot of them, but there's still enough color that it's got a good balance. 
Um, my favorite part is right up here. Where did it go? Where there's some, I mean, you can't, it's not picking up the color on the, these little bits of um, green blue from Pebeo. And that's what I ended up putting in the starfish too because I liked it so much over here. There it is. Yeah, really pretty. So not what I was expecting, but expectations can get us in trouble sometimes. <laughs> and I think this one's really pretty. Uh, it's got some softness and some um, contrast as well. So that's it for me tonight. Please be safe and create and like, share and subscribe if you want and hit that uh, like button if you like this video. Hope to talk to you soon. Actually, I'm getting prepared to make my big one. The big one's coming.